Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to use the ESP32 CAM with Code School. So, like the first thing is you need to sign in in your Code School account. Then only you will see this board menu option and install software options. So, before starting installing of any software, you need to prepare your board. So, like you have to connect the 5 volt to 5 volt, and your USB to TTL device should be on the 5 volt mode not on 3.3 volt mode so the 5 volt need to go to 5 volt then you have ground to ground and then the standard thing like uh, rx to tx and tx to rx another important thing you need to note is like gpio 0 need to be connected to ground so you have to short the gpio 0 to ground so like once you have the hardware setup ready you can connect it to your computer and then you can go and like uh, click the install software select the Tasmota webcam another important thing to remember is like this is not the original Tasmota firmware there are slight modifications so you have to use only this particular uh, firmware image not the default Tasmota webcam image so now you select that uh, Tasmota webcam and then click on the install software then you select your USB COM port like whichever it may be for your machine then click connect then select install touch motor erase device next and before you click install button like just press the reset button and like after you release the install button um, just wait for like 2 seconds or maybe 3 seconds and then release the reset button also we don't keep that reset button press just release it just after you release the install button after a one or two second delay so like i had pressed the reset button now i am clicking the install button and now i have released that reset button also sometimes it fails so that is particular so that is uh, like normal thing only you have to try it again so i'll again press the reset button click the install release the install button and release that reset button also now this time like I have released it within one second and it has started installing another important thing to keep in mind is like do not change your browser tab or like do not open any other application like the idea is like do not send your current browser tab into a background task because then it will not get the enough processing power and like the installation may fail also so just keep this browser tab in the foreground and keep it running only so it will take some time like one minute two minute to install the firmware So you have to wait like do not touch anything just wait now before clicking the next button just remove that jumper between gpio 0 and ground now reset your esp32 and then i'll click the next button i'll go into logs and console and you can see like it has created a wi-fi network which you can connect 
so anyway like I am not connecting it from here so I'll connect it using the web browser itself now I am configuring the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi has been configured I can visit the device so this part is done like you can close this thing so just note this IP address because this we would require it later go into configuration then configure other then you have to like use the AI thinker ESP32 cam configuration Now I have copied that configuration. I have to click the activate button also. I can give some another name like and then I can click save. So basically that configuration will enable this uh, LED on off toggle button then you go into console console then there are a few more things like just optional not needed this is also like optional kind of thing only but uh, I just want to do it so you have to type the following commands like this will enable the stream automatically set the resolution to like 800 pixel or something then you set the time zone then make sure like even if it thanks or crash or like because of wrong configuration it does not delete any configuration of this thing I don't know why this is the case but like this is being recommended by others so I am just following the same. Now I will go to the main menu and you can see the image has been enlarged. So this is like 800 pixel. If you open it in new tab like this is the stream URL which you need to use. So now we'll load that. Uh, ESP32 cam so currently like this native camera is loaded so if I load this web string nothing will come I can go and like enter that URL and select it. Now you can use like any other extension whichever you want to use for example we'll go into machine learning face detection and you can use like everything will work as it is. So first thing I like to do is like I'll just flip my video. then you can like start analyzing image from camera and if you want to change it to again native device camera on my laptop you can again do that uh, that laptop is like lid is closed so it, that camera is actually closed but you can again shift it to web stream
so this is how you use the ESP32 cam uh, with cold school scratch and like all your machine learning extension will continue to work as it is so like uh, you can mount your camera on your robotics car and you can do all this machine learning you can create your own custom model using teachable machine even like uh, speech recognition you can create your own custom speech or, or audio module or using this google teachable machine you can create your custom image based model or you can use our predefined models for face pose image classification object detection few of the traffic sign detection like stop turn around like that turn left and right kind of thing so these are the two apis that uh, two extra blocks that we have added one is the camera stream url and like the other is like what kind of camera you want to use the native on device camera or some web stream so now we support the web stream also in code school and you can like with without any installation of any other software or like um, using any proxy or like whatever like it just works in your browser on any device whether it's android tablet mobile phone or like a desktop or whatever you just have to like simply enable this extension use this block and you are ready to use all the other machine learning learning extension so i hope you like this video thanks for watching have a nice day